who are we going to send this to? So I want to go in and choose our segment. So the segment is, again, the ability to go in and choose who within the database that I want to send this information out to. So I'm going to go in and create a new one from here. And you'll notice I can have a dynamic or a static segment. A dynamic segment actually updates as, as people get added to the database. So if somebody, if I have a certain attributes that I'm looking for within a segment and people get added to the database tomorrow that match that those attributes, they're automatically going to get added to this segment for me. So I can update them and again, they get included maybe in a journey that, that we send out. In this case, you can see the different types of segment templates. Again, I can create as many of these as I want. These are Most of these are out of the box. Um, same for email, same for form, same for journeys. You'll see that, that we have the ability to choose from these different segments. In this case, I'm just going to create one from scratch. So I'm going to skip this. I'm going to call this my Washington and Texas segment. So we're going to look for all of our contacts in Washington and in Texas. And I'm going to start to build this out. So I'm going to go add the query block. I'm going to select the attribute. This is just the fields that are available to me on the contact. So address one is, and I'm going to put Texas down. So I can go in, and you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner, I can click on estimate size. I click on that, and it's actually going to bring me back how many records match this criteria in the database. So we've got 17 contacts that are, that are located in Texas. I'm going to also add in so we can look at Washington. So I'm going to add another condition to the contact. We're going to look at the exact same field, but I'm not just going to look for Texas. I'm going to look for Washington. And I'm going to come down and refresh this. And you notice that our estimated reach now has gone down to zero because this query is looking for everybody who exists in Texas, who has an address in Texas, everybody who exists in Washington. That's not or, it's an and statement. So that's impossible, right? We can't be both in Texas and Washington. So I just need to change this to or. Then I'm going to do the refresh here. And we see now that we have 53 um, contacts that are in a combination of Texas and Washington. I'm going to save this. <clears throat> Record. And if there's anything wrong with this query or there's a dead, seg a dead uh, attribute or something on it, I have the ability, it will find an error for me there Okay, when I go, get to go live. So in this case, I'm going to click on go live. It's going to check for those errors. Right? If there's anything there, if there's nothing there, it's going to allow me to publish it. And that's when I can, again, now use it in a journey or someone could use it in an email campaign, those kinds of things. So now we have our segment. It's live. We have 53 members associated to it. You can see if I hit the members area here, it's going to give me a listing of all those members, okay, that are available to me. 